Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on action timing. Today we're gonna check the update, but before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So as you can see, first of all, we already have the, the new background, the new the new login screen, and it's nice, it's nice, but there's more more to this. So uh, I'm I'm uh, recording just after the update, so the login is not up yet, but there will be a login. And let's see. So playable character or Isaki Kirara renewal. The model and animation of playable character on Isaki Kirara have had a makeover. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so that's one thing. Like this character, as you can see, is very, very different. I will say, like. I am not too pleased with all the changes they did. Like some changes do look nice and some others don't. Like the thighs are smaller, I guess. The back row is more detailed for sure. And the front, well, let's just say that I don't like the change as much. It's not a bad thing, but it's definitely subject subjective. I. I am not I don't know. I don't know how to how to feel about it. And her face is just like she has too much makeup and her skin is too um um what's the opposite of tan? Um uh, like pale. Let, let's say pale. Yeah. So she looks way too pale in my opinion. And I mean, at least with that skin, I don't know. With everything else, she looks okay, in my opinion. But with this skin, I, I don't know. Perhaps the red highlights her skin tone. Let's see. Yeah. So, we have uh, Kirara. And let's check what does it say. Renewal, celebration, renewal, renewal missions... Uh huh. So we're gonna. I'm gonna read the mail. The the not the mail. The news as it comes. So the first thing that we're gonna have are the packages for Kirara. So um, these two are really really good value, and each time they're giving more and more and more things to these packages. So it's just better. Look now they added uh, one coin. We can use uh, when use you can select one item to acquire from the box in the my god So basically everyone is going to get the limited one, but this is great The value just keeps increasing on these packages. They they really want you to get these ones And now they're they were previously a nice deal, but they they are a better deal uh, Remember if you want to buy a demonite, this is going to be uh, 17 18 and these Back, the one that gives you demonite is 23 24 so yeah just because of that this is way better so if you want you you can get this like there's a ton of value and even if you have the skin you can exchange that for for gems so it's great and there's also the other one this one comes with the character with the same skin with the limited supporter the character release limited supporter. Another copy of the weapon, just like the other one. And it comes with a voucher for an skin. And they added something new. I, I, I don't remember this on the previous pack. And it's a UR uh, gacha voucher. That's great. That's amazing. I, I really love it. For sure, this is one of the best things that they could have added into the pack. But let us continue. So, we have, of course, the renewal for Kirara. And let's see, what else? Um, sales, aha. Uh -huh. New fan pack. Uh, let's see, Kira Renewal Celebration achievement, achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here on the event, as you can see, there are many tabs, but let's focus on Kirara's. Um, there's going to be uh, rewards for upgrading Kirara and uh, awakening Kirara and using Kirara on any quest. So 
if you want to get Kirara or if you have Kirara, upgrade her as, as much as you can and uh, also use her so that you can redeem these rewards. Next thing is going to be the Kirara, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Balance and adjustment. The performance of Onisaki Kirara has been adjusted as follow. This, I don't like that much. There are not that many changes. So let's see how much she, she, she changed. And there's one thing that I have to mention that I don't like. Maybe there's a glitch, uh, but I don't think there's a glitch. Like, number one, she doesn't have a leader skill. That's bad. But... If they plan to add the, the missing leader skills uh, in groups or all together, then it wouldn't it won't matter that much that they didn't add it here. But I, I just think it's a missed opportunity, you know. So let's see. The visual effect and animations of some some skills have changed. Okay, that's normal. A slot effect of the skill snow veil has been partially modified. So snow veil. That's the all blue. It says. Two protect type supporters sustain the attack for an additional 1.5 seconds, sustain the attack for an additional 1.5 seconds, and gain super armor while using the skill. Okay, that's actually great. I mean, she already had a decent amount of super armor with this skill, uh, but it is fine to give her super armor too. Well, then, the attack timing of the skill Galactic Gla Glacier, not Galactic Glacier drop, has been adjusted with its total damage increase. What? The attack timing of the skill. Glacier drop. Glacier drop. Wow. The attack timing of the skill Glacier drop has been adjusted. Uh, I guess they adjusted how, how fast this falls as well as increase its damage. That's what I think that means. I'm not too sure. It's worded weird. Now, uh, the last one. Now the trap set up by the skill Blossoming Fog. Blossoming Fog, this one, let me check. Uh-huh. Has been adjusted with its total damage increase. No, no, no. Uh, moves towards the enemies at a slow pace. Yeah, I noticed that on the animation. Now it uh, moves towards the enemy. Uh, it is not like super fast but the fact that it's moving means that you don't need to rely on the enemy to to get uh, near you you can just use it the enemy is going to come after you because you do use a double evade and then you you use this okay okay like reduce the defense use explode and inflict damage on contact why is the enemy freezing on the animation and why doesn't this skill says that it freezes? <coughs> like, Gremory, I think that you under under perform on this character renewal. Like, yeah, like, let's see, we have freeze here. Freeze over here. Freeze on blue. Freeze on any. Uh, ta -ta. I, I expected her to get uh, at least one skill adjusted. One color buff. And in some way, shape or form, get a new kind of multi-hit skill. But yeah, perhaps I was expecting too much. Yeah, Kirara isn't... I want to say she's a bad character, but she is definitely, or she was definitely not on pair with everyone else. Uh, I'll have to test these two skills to see if she performs better now, if Glacier Drop is actually great now. Especially on Blue. Blue is probably one of... I think all her colors are valuable, but this one is the one that gives the most support and fun things, because it's also giving a uh, speed increase. But well, I'll check her later. The next one. The Swim Sub Summer Buffet Open. So there are special packages if you want to get skins for a, a 
I don't know if I should say a really good price, but let's see. So you're going to get four skins by buying one of these packs. And if you have all the four skins, look, you're going to get 140 gems. Let, let's see. So yeah, that's 700. Yeah, 700 for two because each one of these is uh, 350. So you get the exact value of the of the skins if you already have them. So it is, let's see, 15. It costs you 15 to get one of these. Uh, okay, so my math is telling me that my mental math, like my quick math is telling me that these are not good enough value because, if I'm not mistaken, one of the expensive packs the let's say the the one before the last level the the uh, ones that give you the, the awakening materials and such will give you if i'm not mistaken like 3500 gems for something like 44 dollars let me check here i have an image if i'm not mistaken maybe maybe like if not here I should have it over here. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Aha, no, Black Friday packs. That's not it. Uh, aha, the one for uh, the level 87 level achievement pack. Yeah, so for $45, you get 3000 500 gems and this is let's see one more time 15 so no 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 it's i mean you get more value out of uh, out of the other pack but uh, if we talk only about gems the the value is kind of similar so it's not it's not terrible but i i don't know if i will go for this or not uh, if you don't have one of them, you're going to get less. Keep that in mind. As you see, I don't have this one. Uh, so yeah, they are okay if you want to get a bunch of skins uh, quickly. Remember, all of these skins will be available throughout the, the month. But they are not right now in this exact moment. That's the appeal of these packages. That you can buy them before they release. And you can buy them uh, for a decent price because it, we say that it's how much like a thousand and four hundred gems. Yeah, a thousand four hundred gems. If we uh, go here and we check like the actual. Oh, we have another one of those. Uh, if you want to buy your your uh, your gems here, this should be something permanent not something that happens every now and then and even so it's still not worth it the rewards are not that great and this is the worst pricing ever so uh we were saying that we want this amount so you see the price here to buy them without the the deal would cost you this to get all the necessary gems so yeah it's not exactly the, the best option. So, well, if you want to buy the pack, it is there. So let us continue. July seasonal event, login event. Uh, we don't have the login event right now, but we're going to get a enchant booster 50% on that one. So that's nice. And we are going to have another login event, uh, like halfway through the month. Surprise missions and campaigns. So yeah, here comes the, the fun part. So for campaigns, we're going to have AP multiplier in event, uh, which is okay. We also have extra coins in arena, <coughs> which are fine. Sorry, I'm sick. I'm going to drink water. Oh. Okay, so we have extra coins for arena. So if you want to use your BP potions, that's this is a great time to do so. And as you can see, we have a couple missions. We have missions for playing arena, and what is this? But 
a pack full of blue things, including a ticket for one random. Uh, you can use acquire a random reward from the item. Yeah, so you can get any supporter from this one from this list, but usually you're gonna get the SR. Like the drop rate is the same as in the gacha. Um, and this is a similar item to to that ticket. It gives you uh, green supporters, but I don't like that they give us this one because it's not updated. As you can see, it goes up to Humari now and, and there's no new green supporters. There's no Nano, for example. I mean, they can keep the icon for sure, but they need to update the list. Um, we have the blue version, we have the red version, and we have uh, this one. For using, for playing arena, for using weapon facility, skill facility, exp facility, and for completing event stages, we're gonna get rewards. So yeah, like this is not like the week to farm, but there are things to do for sure. And then we have a lucky draw added. Oh yeah, let me let me check the specifics of this. A limited gem gacha. The lucky draw is added. Gain various rare items. 10, 20, and and 20 gacha streaks will be commanders addition will give commanders additional mileage. Okay, so there's at least some real value on this. Um, period. All gacha coins, items, and gacha tickets item cannot be used in the lucky draw. Uh, I mean, I get that. Gacha rewards demon I nano machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, are, there are. Um, promoting this but let me be real with you this is going to be the lucky draw as you can see these are the rates 0.1% to get UR uh, demonite and 0.1% to get UR nano machine so that's not something that you're gonna use trust me like it is terrible and there are uh, SR and R items here even though those are the ones that you may want like these two the doggy doggy presents are not accepted here no that's not a good thing this stuff is also like no 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 the gacha tickets have value because you can also get your things on these tickets uh, this also has value but it's not great that it's here and honestly you can see and there's just trash in here the only good things, let me check, like this one, the UR gacha ticket is good. The dismantling, depending on the amount that you have, if you don't have that many, then it's good. Um, or no, enchant booster is decent, not good. Crystal is decent, not good. This one is probably uh, omitting the demon item nano machine. This is the best item that you can get from this one. And there's a 1.3% to get this. This voucher, it is an old voucher that we receive. And this one has weapons that nowadays sell on uh, skin packs. We have Rinko's mileage skin when the skins were on the mileage. <laughs> uh, well, it was kind of the instead of hitting a safety net, they gave you the high skin for rolling a hundred times, if you want to know. Uh, the Asagi skin, the Sakura skin, the Yukikaze skin, these were golden pass. I think they were the first golden pass, if I'm not mistaken. And you just saw that we, well, not just, but if I'm not mistaken, it was New Year that we received the, the special deal to get the three of them. Um, then we have the Kill Bill one, the Phantom Ride that I think it's still up or not. I don't remember if it's already gone. I'll check. We have Bonnie Emily. We have this one that was Golden Pass. I do remember that. This one that was, again, the mileage one, the Safety Net, Pity, whatever you want to call it. This one, which was Golden Pass, and this one, which was Golden Pass. I never get this, uh, like, unless you have all the other skins. But you, these skins, all of them are more value than a seasonal skin because they were limited. They were golden paths. They were paid. They were like 
You want to get this, if possible, if you decide to roll. Um, doing the first 30, like this one and this one, would be acceptable if you have the gems to do so. Why? Because they are discounted. But I wouldn't recommend that. Especially if you want Timonite and Nano Machine. That's like... It's there, but come on. It's one every 1,000 pulls. So, yeah. No. That's not great. Grammarie didn't do uh, a good job balancing this. <coughs> and, and there's no reward similar to, to the tickets that uh, you receive from rolling those paid gachas. No, there is nothing like that. Uh, maybe because you use gems, but still it feels like was wasting you your gems to some degree. Like the only valuable item that I see here is this one, the Demonite, the Nano Machine, and the UR ticket. So how much is that? Three... That's 4.7. Less than 5% chance to get an item that is actually valuable. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea, so I recommend you don't. Sorry, Grimori, but this is not a good deal. Like, do a pack. Something that is guaranteed, that's way better. Uh, in any case, let's see. Uh, the lucky draw, colorful blue pattern event life. Achieve missions and surprise missions that reset daily within the period and receive various rewards. So basically we're going to receive uh, blue stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So there's going to be a, a lot of rewards regarding, well, that has to do with blue. Colorful blue palette Tanabata event. Is this the same? Like palette event? Upgrade supporter. No, no, no. This is a different one. I guess. Uh, okay, let me check. There's something else interesting here. Shop of Desire update. Special limited type item has been added to the shop. Sales period July 16. Each item can be purchased, purchased only once. Yeah, this is... I mean, I checked it on the video and if the price is the same, it's terrible. Let me show you here. Shop of Desires. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, these are horrible. Usually it would be super, super nice. But they cost maximum desire. And no, Grammarie, come on. Like, this should be like the price of everything else. I totally get that this is way more valuable than a limited supporter. A limited supporter and a, and a, a character release skin, desire skin is gonna cost 140 desire, and this costs max desire. This costs 300 desire. So why is it a little bit more valuable than this one, uh, than a limited supporter or this one? Because you can select all supporters or all weapons. And increase your S level with this. But what's the problem? What's the issue? That usually you're going to use these ones for the new supporters that give you, well, more value. Because they, they are stronger, usually. So this is just outrageous. The price is not acceptable. And it's going to be for a limited time, which is a shame. This... If this was permanent, it would be, I won't say great, it would be usable. I could get if it was a little bit more expensive, like instead of 140, maybe 160 desire, because it has its advantages for sure. But I mean, you get more, more mileage out of buying two copies of limited supporters or weapons instead of buying one of these. Like, why would we? There's no good reason to actually buy this. I mean, if you are a whale and you can afford it, go for it. I, I won't judge. But yeah, this is not like the best value for sure. And the Merge Crystal, nothing to do there. Like, nah, 
it is not that great. I am swimming on that stuff and it's unless we receive an update where we need to use more of those. I mean, a level up update, a new uh, level limit, then we won't be using those. Let's see, the next one. Shop of Desire, rewards added for purchasing gems. The, the one that we saw, uh, this one. Yeah, this should be permanent. Like, I don't know why it's limited. Each month it should, uh, like, restock or reset. Besides, I don't know if you do. Tell me if you do. But I never buy gems here. Do you? Does anyone? Like, the, the value here is terrible. And the rewards here are also terrible. Like, 700 gems, not bad. 500 gems, not bad. <clears throat> 10 uh, limited gacha coins, not bad, for sure. But, well, it is what it is. Then we have uh, this one. The new event, True Demon Island, Tale of Hell Knight, is open. So we have a new event, as you may have guessed. We have Furfur, Vacation Furfur here, which is a really good F2P supporter. I won't say that it's busted, that it is like Susune, but it's usable. It has a nice effect that you anyone can use. It is not a waste of space in your inventory. And obviously at the end we have Crystal Kit. Like, fortunately, like, there's... It's nice when we get other rewards, but... Uh, Grammarie hasn't, hasn't done that in a while. Then, Peak of Gacha is live. For Gachas we have, of course, uh, Francis. Francis is going to be the next playable character. How do we know this? Because this is a limited gacha, which means that she is going to be, uh, wait a moment. Ah, uh, yeah, Th yes, here are the limited coins. This means that she is a character release limited supporter, and that means that she's coming next. This supporter, what does it do? Suppressed type characters get penetration, 28 percent penetration when max out and <coughs> increased damage of melee attacks by 22 percent when attacking a disarmed enemy you may say well that's kind of a specific no it isn't has the extra passive says has a 10 percent chance to disarm enemies for four seconds that's gonna be eight seconds when max out when performing a normal melee attack every 15 seconds so it's not like super uh, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but, 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 in VR it's very usable. In particular with enemies that don't have that much, much mobility or are bulky. If you're facing, for example, uh, Queen Arachne, this is very good against her. Um, this is not great for against the Borom, unless you're able to ensnare her. Because she moves a lot. So keep that in mind. And uh, it has an active bot. It doesn't matter. The active doesn't matter. It doesn't provide anything important. Uh, the important thing is that you're going to disarm the enemy. And deal damage. Increase your damage with melee attacks. It's not only basics. So this is going to be great for uh, users of the butterfly weapons. Fast attackers and such. Keep this in mind. And it's probably going to pair well. Very well with bodyguard, evil bodyguard, Momochinagi. So yeah, we have that one. We also have the golden pass. As you know, we have a new golden pass and this new golden pass comes with lapis. If you want to get lapis, there you have it. And yeah, I always say to get this because it gives a ton of value. This in particular, the tickets are just great. Uh, let's see. Then, uh, wait a minute, what is this? Oh, that was my controller. Oh, yeah, they, they added that skin that they didn't. We have the Heviko Bright skin, which is nice. If you want to get it, get it. I might, like, there's a ton of things right now. It's gonna hurt my wallet, but... Uh, I save money, I do. 
Aha, uh -huh. new game improvements and bug fixes. So uh, there is only one improvement and it's the dish dispatch missions. I, I really like this. Finally, it's here. In the special activities has been improved. Players can set up support, uh, supports to all the missions at once and dispatch them automatically. So yeah, I saved them until I recorded this. So look at this. Marvelous. Marvelous. You can do it manually, but also receive all gifts. Nice. Manage auto assign. Exclude from dispatch. Okay. So number one, I'm going to put only yours and I'm going to exclude. So basically I don't want these supporters, the good supporters to be on the dispatch. Like I'm going to remove a bunch of them. I'm going to leave the, the ones that I don't use, the bad ones to be, uh, to go on dispatch. Uh, usable. Mm -hmm. What? Only 50? Oh, wait. Confirm. <laughs> I can continue. I can continue. Yeah, I was going to be pissed if, if it was only 50 that you could exclude. Uh, hmm. uh, this one. Yeah, like here I have the other one. Nice. This is excellent. So uh, if you have multiple copies, you can exclude. You can leave those copies. That's great, that's great um, to do the work. I never use Lamarck, so I'll leave her. Sharia. I don't know if I did Sharia, but I'm going to lock her. She can also get this bunch of dum-dums. Uh, uh, I'll lock her because I use her. For you, me. You two, you two, four, four, yes, I can use this. Ah, here is the other Sharia. Perfect, perfect. Haru for the niche things, let's see. This one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one. No, this one I do leave her. Okay, nice, nice, nice. This I never use. Like, let's see. This one, this one. Yeah, the ones that I'm still leveling up, I'm gonna leave them. Like, I these are my second copies. I'm still working on some of them. So, I'll leave those be. Uh, this I'm, I'm never going to use. Let's see. The same can be said about all of these, but... Okay, I will just lock them too. So, you, you don't need, like, too many. Too many uh, supporters. Mm, like this one, this one... This one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, that should be good enough for locking things. So I just need to assign all and dispatch all. You see? Perfect. It's just marvelous. I love this. And the management is going to be always the saver. It, it uh, keeps uh, the information. So you don't have to manage it all the time. That's great. So I just dispatch all and done. And there's uh, the completely useless uh, Shikanosuke. The same for a great tag, great till. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, the second copy of Yuno. This other supporter that it's also useless. So it's great. It's great. <laughs> if you have multiple copies of one supporter that you didn't combine, you can also use them here on the dispatch now. Very effectively. Loving it. Commence auto dispatch when auto set. Yeah. You can click on this to to uh, commence when setting. That's perfect. Great, great, great. A in case of a mistake, you just have to cancel it and then assign it again. 
So yeah, great, 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 excellent. Uh, suspension of cheaters, uh, yeah, box and such. There's a couple more things to discuss. Let's see. Like this event, colorful blue palette uh, Tarabata event. So for this one, when clear certain missions, basically 10 quests with each blue character, Lapis, Lina, Anya, Sora, Maika, Ingrid, Kirara, Kurenai, Shiranui, Su, and Sakura, you're going to get these blue paper, paper grains, which are basically the clovers. They give you desire, which is amazing. Don't be deceived. Do not use this to buy the Demonite or Nano Machines. Um, then we're, we have these Rainbow Tansaku, which are going to give you a random amount of gems. Um, it is fine. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, there was another item that was a gem pouch and that was better than this, but it is okay. Let's see. Uh, what else? We also haven't checked the... Where is it? Here. The gacha for Kirara and her renewal weapon. So, as you may imagine, the gacha is going to give you the ticket if you get it. And it has a considerable drop rate increase for Kirara's weapons, as well as Eleonor's and... Uh, what's the name? Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, Phantasma. I should have rolled on this instead of Phantasma's banner. Uh, well, whatever. In any case, we're gonna check uh, what the Lao Face. I'm gonna say it like that. Lao Face drop. So this one has a 15% chance to freeze the enemy for five seconds when attacking. It increases to 30%. When attacking the frozen enemy, restores 2%, 4% when max out of the lost HP every second for 3 seconds and increases the speed by 10%, activates every 10 seconds. So uh, this is great. I remember what I said on my previous video, like that Falling Heart, which has the 30% at base, wasn't great and it was only usable on uh, 5 out of 5 to get the 60%. And you may say, well, why not this one? Because these are two completely different debuffs. Phantasma's debuff requires you to put 10 stacks on the enemy. And when you have those 10 stacks, you get a defense reduction. Uh, in the case of... of uh, I forgot her name. Kirara. In the, in the case of Kirara, whenever she hits that 30%, She's going to freeze the enemy and the next attack is going to deal double damage. Just because of that, that's great. And the skills with multi-hits are going to be amazing. And this doesn't say uh, when using skills, when doing melee attacks. No, whichever. Whichever is fine. And Kirar's melee attack is really, really strong uh, in the multi-hit department. Like the last hit is going to guarantee that effect for sure. So yeah, be sure to use uh, skills that do multi-hit. They're going to be great on Kirara. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Uh, let's see. What else are we missing? Uh, you, you see this skin? This is the cost of the skin. Huh? It's going to be $31, $32. And if you get lucky enough on this thing, and you get the voucher... Uh, you can get that skin. <coughs> so yeah, uh, if you decide to roll on this, which is like not a great idea, and you get one of these, at least you, you'll you get good value, as long as you don't have some of these skins. Like the least valuable are these ones, uh, the, the New Year ones. Uh, the most valuable for sure are going to be like Reindeer, um, Dark Torrent, uh, Queen Mommy, Bonnie Girl, Phantom Bride, and Heavenly Moonflower. Those are the most valuable ones. And yeah, the, the new one, the New Year one for this one, it's also valuable. These are not as valuable because they uh, put them in one pack together. Just because of that, it reduces their value a lot. And there has been many chances to get this. So, yeah, <sighs> what can I say about this update? 
It is interesting, for sure. There is a bunch of things, for sure. It's going to be very heavy on everyone's wallet the whole month, for sure. If you can buy this, do get it. Like, the value just keep increasing. They added the, the coins and the ticket. And this is here, so it's just amazing. But the renewal for Kirara, like, it's just a shame that they didn't adjust her a little bit more. Like, they they really did a lot of work on the model, I can tell you that. Uh, even if I subjectively don't like it, that doesn't mean that I do not appreciate the, the effort of the devs. Um, like, the fingers look really, really nice. Look at that, the amount of detail. Um, but they just missed the opportunity to add her leader skill as well as adjust some of her skills and... Give her a more fluid gameplay. Like, she's too slow on any color other than blue. And only only blue only gets better if you use a snow, snow leopard sprint. So yeah, I'll check how good she is. But I think that a vast, uh, a vast amount of what she's going to be able to do will depend on the fact that it will depend on if you have the weapon or not this weapon is just pretty good pretty good because it can be really aggressive to just inflict uh, inflict freeze like even a 30 percent chance is just great so yeah that's about it for today guys and i'll be seeing you next time Bye.